Hi, in this short instructional video, we will show you how to clean up your mailbox in Microsoft Outlook. Generally, this is going to be used when you're going to be migrating your mailbox into a cloud-based solution, or if in general you just have too large of a mailbox that needs to be cleaned up for a variety of reasons. One thing that needs to be known or understood is that when a mailbox or what's called a, an Outlook, a PST or personal storage folder or a personal folder becomes too large, and you are not connected to an exchange server which handles your email uh, appropriately through what's called a database structure, you are at risk of your personal folder or PST file becoming corrupted. But by and large, this instructional video is intended to show you how to A, clean up excessive mail that may be left over that's no longer necessary, and B, how to archive things into other folders that are not needed every day. So first and foremost, what we want to do here is on the left hand side you have what's called your folder tree in Outlook. You have the inbox, draft, sent items, and so on. So the first thing you want to do is click on your deleted items and right click and empty this folder. If you've deleted them from your inbox or other folders, chances are you don't need this anymore, but these things don't truly get deleted until you've actually emptied your deleted items folder. So go ahead and click yes and that folder will empty. The next thing is empty your junk, your junk mail folder. Click in your junk mail folder, right click and choose empty folder. Okay, and then choose yes. And after that, we would like to go, we need to go to your sent items folder. Click on sent items. And what you need to understand about Outlook is, and about Exchange, about mail servers, the way this works is it's not messages that actually create a lot of bulk and size for your mailbox, it's actually the attachments. Now, first and foremost, things that you send to people, um, you may want to keep some of those messages, perhaps, maybe sometimes for legal reasons or accounting or other reasons, maybe inter or intra-office communications. But by and large, if you've sent something that has a large attachment, there really is no reason to keep it. So in your sent items folder, again, click on the size header, which is right here. Click on that twice excuse me, once, <laughs> then scroll all the way to the top. Now you'll see large files that have been sent from your mailbox to someone else. Honestly, the way that we look at this is we really don't want to have anything larger than a one megabyte file attachment that resides in your sent items. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll click on the sizes that are seven megabytes, six, and so on, five, four, three, and so on, that are larger than one megabyte and considered to be very large or extremely large or huge, in some cases above five megabytes, called enormous. Um, we want to take those, those messages and either put them to an archive folder, but if you truly don't need them anymore, because remember, you sent them. So you, you have, the, you have the, the attachment that you sent at some point, unless you forwarded the attachment, but you have this information probably at some other location. Now, if it's vital you keep this communication, don't delete it. I'll start saying that right now. Do not delete the message if you have to keep it. So don't just do a routine carte blanche blank delete, but perhaps go through and hold the control key and say, okay, I want to delete this and this and this and this and this and this and so on and so on. And once you've, you know, hold, hold the control key, holding the control key rather allows you to select individual items. So you can selectively go through and say, what do I want to delete? Now, the things that you highlight will be the ones that will be deleted, and they'll go into your deleted items next, not into the ether or into nowhere. You either want <clears throat> to press the delete key on your keyboard, and once you've done that, they're gone. Okay? Those messages actually then go into your deleted items folder. So it's important after you confirm that these items from your sent items that were large, that we intended to delete, that you right click and then choose to empty folder again. Okay, and it will actually then ask you, are you sure you want to empty? You permanently delete all the items in this folder and say yes. So be certain you actually can live without those. Okay, so again, just to go through that process, <clears throat> gone into the sent items folder, we clicked on the size header once, scroll all the way to the top, and then you'll find the largest emails with the biggest attachments that you have sent to somebody else. If it's urgent, you may want to hold on to it, but if you can definitely delete it and you certainly don't need to keep it, then get rid of it. The next thing we want to do after this is go to the inbox. Conversely, the same process applies. 
you want to get rid of the bulk. Okay, so by clicking on the size header one more time, then scrolling to the top, you'll now see extremely large, in these cases, extremely large files that we didn't really, well, don't really need to keep around. So it's fair to say that you could delete anything that's above one megabyte in size unless you actually need the attachment, unless you need that video with that, that excuse me, not that video, but that email with <clears throat> its related or its attachment that's connected to it. So if you do not need to keep this, please do get rid of it. It's just clogging up your mailbox and making things a little more cumbersome for you. So rather than clicking the control button, holding the control button and selectively clicking on multiple messages, you can also select an entire range by holding the shift button, click on the topmost item, hold the shift button down, then click the bottommost item. What you'll find is that everything in between, it's called a shift click, everything in between is selected. Now you press the delete key, and those items have now been deleted from your inbox. Okay, so there's certainly more items in my inbox here. I need to go through this process as well and clean out things as well, but this is intended to be instructional for you. Uh, then remember, everything that you delete from either your inbox or so on will go into your deleted items, okay? So it's important to understand that those items are, are going to be in your inbox at that point, so in your deleted items rather, and so they need to then still be deleted by emptying, right-clicking on the deleted items and choosing Empty Folder. Um, this concludes the portion of cleaning up the mailbox, and the next step in the process will be in the next video, which will be how to archive your inbox and how to actually preserve things that you do want to keep around that are perhaps older than a certain age. Thank you.